Hey y'all, Chris here with another paper review. This week we're going to be looking at Atoya's new Portfolio Anywhere journal. Uh, this journal comes in three different sizes. The largest is going to be a seven and a half by about ten. Medium size, which is about five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And the smallest one is going to be five by seven. The selling point of these is their flexibility. Uh, they're made by Zequins, so if you're familiar with them, you know how flexible they are. But you can really twist them and smush them and kind of bend them any way you want. And they always manage to spring back to their normal appearance. Now, as for the paper, it is a 100 gram paper, which is fairly heavy, um, but it accepted any writing instrument very well. As you can see, we got pencil, we got some fountain pens, a Sailor Pro Gear Zoom, which is quite broad, had no problem with that, uh, some brush pens and dip pens. As you can see, there was no bleed through, except with the Sharpies, which, if you're gathering, is kind of going to be expected. Atoya is mostly known for their art supplies, and so I looked at this as kind of a sketchbook. Um, one of my favorite ways to draw is just using a fountain pen and then going back and doing some light washes over it. So you can see here, it handled it really well. On the back side, there's minimal bleed through in some of the heavy flow areas. Uh, you, you got some show through, and then there was a slight crinkling to the paper, but not too bad. For a heavier wash, uh, this is just using fountain pen ink, but you can see really minimal bleed through. Uh, you could almost use that side again. There is some heavy crinkling of the paper, but nothing too bad. Um, so it really would work uh, if you wanted to use watercolors with it. Uh, it's a nice sketchbook for that. And then for pencils, um, nice toothiness. There was some smearing. This is a black wing pencil, so when you push really hard, there's going to be some um, pretty heavy smearing, but just overall, um, not too bad. So if you're worried about your drawings getting smushed up, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, if you're using it just as a journal, it performed really well. They only come in a blank variety, so if you want to use a ruling sheet underneath, it is light enough where you can see it from the back side. Uh, here I have uh, a medium nib and a broad nib, handled both really well. So you can see there's no bleed through. I will note that this paper, unlike uh, Rodia, Clairefontaine, Life, uh, the inks seemed to absorb a little bit more. It didn't stay on the surface, so that really cut back on any sheening you would see. Uh, this blue ink is actually Sailor Sultan, uh, which is known for its really pronounced blue sheen. And on this paper, it just kind of absorbed right in, and it didn't have any of that. So if you're looking for a great everyday beater journal that you can uh, roll up and stick in your back pocket or don't have to worry about getting damaged in the backpack, the Atoya Portfolio Anywhere Journal uh, is a great option. Check it out at andersonpens.com.